Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is my second video. This is your boy, Lewis, checking back in with another banger with yet another video. And you guys know the drill. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that noti bell to make sure you get the latest and greatest content. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I truly appreciate you guys. And without further ado, let's get started. So, it's getting really ridiculous on the LeBron fanboys out here who continuously to make just these dumb comments on how the fact that people are saying that LeBron is being hated so much that it's affecting like their daily lives. Like I could say right now that for those of you who know, LeBron was injured on Christmas. He was injured on Christmas. He injured his groin. There was a supposed groin pull. What happened? It went from a groin pull to it ended up being possibly a sports hernia because in the, tw in the tweet LeBron posted, after the MRI, he said he dodged a bullet and he would be back in no time. Now, I clearly said in a video that dodged a bullet from LeBron meant that it could have been more serious than it was and that he was lucky that it wasn't as serious as it was and that he'd probably be back in no time. You guys noticed that from Christmas Day, December 25th, when he got hurt, today's January 28th. And reports have gone back and forth on LeBron is supposed to come back in a week. He might be back in two to three weeks. LeBron possibly could have missed a month. Like, this was the entire month of January from all the reports. But notice that nothing ever came from LeBron. Nothing ever came from him. So he didn't specify anything. But Rich Paul, when they t asked him about it, it was kind of like, we will let you know, like, when LeBron is, you know, capable of, like, coming on the floor and we will let you know. And, like, we handle, uh, basically, like, his... We, we handle the business, so, like, we will let you know when it is available. Until then, like, we won't let you know anything until the thing is solid. So we handle it. So my question is, is that why is it that I'm not hearing it from LeBron, but I'm hearing it from his agent and his handler, Rich Paul? Like, if LeBron wants to address the issue, like, let it come from him. Like, tell reporters, you know, the injury is probably more serious than it is. And I keep telling you guys, this is probably one or two things. Either LeBron is faking his injury. And I, I keep hearing these LeBron fanboys coming. Oh, oh, so he can't be hurt? He can't be hurt? This is my problem. I'm not saying that LeBron can't be hurt, but why is it that reports have constantly gone back and forth? That means that there's an agenda going on because we would have heard by now, you know, he could have said, oh, LeBron could have said, you know, I'm not really sure when I could come back. There's no timetable. Trust me, it would have been easier had it just came from him. But LeBron has stood quiet this entire month. He's pretty much stayed quiet. The only time he's relevant is if he's congratulating somebody on Instagram or as he went on IG to talk, put a song on Rewind for Kyrie and hashtag him. Like, that's what LeBron is all busy doing. But then the fanboys are going to go, oh, so LeBron can't be on Instagram? Like, he can't do this? I'm like, yo, you guys are getting really ridiculous. You guys are the same people that said, oh, why? That LeBron could be hurt. Like, oh, you got, you're got being such an idiot, man. I've gone on pages... Where people just make idiotic things. I'm telling you right now. Like, if LeBron is hurt, it could possibly be the coin pull. That's not a problem. But why doesn't LeBron just come out and say, you know, I'm not moving as well as I can. Like, you know, I'm, I got some shots up. Look, it was only in the news that LeBron is shooting. But it's like the, LeBron is pretty much walking like an old man. So if that tells me the case... LeBron, excuse me, it's probably not at 100%, obviously, but it's like at the same time, something is really going on, especially if you haven't heard from LeBron. So you see him practicing, fine. But it's like you, he really hasn't talked, which is kind of weird, an entire month, and reports have gone back and forth. So it's like you have to really start to question the injury. That's the problem. If LeBron was given kind of like, he doesn't have to give a, like a constant prognosis, but it's like, again, if LeBron, again, if you, if we would have known had LeBron said, oh, you know, like, uh, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm going through the rehab right now. You know, it's been a long process and stuff like that. But then I, then you would hear the fanboys go, oh, he doesn't have to answer to anybody. He doesn't have to answer to you. And it's like, you see how ridiculous you sound? Because other guys who have played, the only thing was, the only difference with uh, Kawhi Leonard in terms of his injury was is the fact that there was a lot of back and forth in terms of the Spurs organization and stuff. So there was a lot of misconceptions going on and there was a lot of undermining going there. And then Markel Fultz with his mysterious shoulder injury, there was a lot of stuff going on there between him and the doctors. So it was like going on both sides. The thing with LeBron is, is that his agent is handling this. And so he's not saying anything. So my thing is, is that it's either two things that are happening. And what's getting me mad about 
people is that they keep acting like if LeBron is the only person that's missing on the Lakers. Kyle Kuzma didn't play last night with a hip flexor. Lonzo's out four to six weeks with an ankle injury. Rajon Rondo is out of the lineup right now with a hand injury. So you have three players other than LeBron with LeBron. That makes four players out for the Lakers. But it's like the fans keep going like if LeBron is the only person that's missing on that lineup. Oh, I had somebody was like, oh, you know, that the team, the Laker team is in shambles because LeBron is that good. I'm like, stop it. You sound ridiculous. You make it seem like if LeBron is the only person on that damn team. And my problem is, is that this is my problem with LeBron James, because now he's making himself bigger than the organization. He's making himself bigger than his team. And I said, that's not being a good team player. Once again, for the fanboys, listen to what I'm talking about. Now, once did I say LeBron is a bum, because I have never said that LeBron is a bum. I'm not saying that LeBron is trash. As a matter of fact, I said that in my top 10 list of all-time greats, LeBron is a number nine. I have him as a top 10 player, not a top five player. I don't give a damn what you think. That's just my opinion. I have him at number nine. And I stated in my reasons why he's above Kobe Bryant in terms of the top 10 list. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check my top 10 videos in one of my older videos that I posted about about a month ago which I said as to why Kobe's not in the top 10 and LeBron is. So quite honestly, I show respect to LeBron on his accomplishments. I showed him his respect. And I said that I respect what LeBron has brought to the game of basketball, okay? He is one of the greatest players to ever play this game. I give him his respect. I said I don't like his personality because he plays, he plays the role of a facade. Everything is stage. everything is an act. He is a drama queen, and it's the truth. I'm not questioning LeBron's manhood because this has nothing to do with his family. It's about his actions on the basketball court. And people keep at, and this is why it's being, it's, it's just being idiotic. These guys continue to act like if LeBron is the only person on the team, on the Lakers team. So LeBron gets who he wants. My thing is, if he gets that second star, what is his excuse going to be if he doesn't if he doesn't help elevate that team to to the playoffs and possibly contend for a championship? Because what's the excuse going to be? Oh well, we were never going to compete anyway because this year was just an experiment. Because that's the first thing that the apologists are going to say they weren't they weren't going to win anyway. But then I have other people saying, "Watch the Lakers win the championship." Watch. I hope you keep that same energy if the Lakers happen to have an early round exit. OK, whatever happens, happens. If the Lakers make the Western Conference finals, they make it. OK, if they happen to make the finals, they make it. OK, but I just don't want you saying one thing, you guarantee it. And then you come back and say something else and like, oh, oh, no, you know, the Lakers weren't going to make it anyway. You know, LeBron, he didn't have a great team. I don't want to hear that. You better say, oh, they had other players injured because then that's what you're going to say when it comes to LeBron. And I said, this is the issue with LeBron. When it's a team, when it's when he loses, it's a team sport. When he wins, LeBron individually had showed his individual brilliance. This is what you guys do. The fanboys keep that same energy and are always consistent when it comes to wins and losses with LeBron James. But then they'll say with other players, oh, but one guy didn't do it by himself. Oh, but LeBron did? Oh, wow, that's so different. Oh, and you're a LeBron hater. You're just such a hater, man, because you're coming in to make idiotic comments. So I'm going to tell you right now. LeBron is either faking his injury or his injury is more serious than he's really giving, he's really licking out. Simple as that. Those are the only two reasons that LeBron is out this long. And funny that nothing has come out of his mouth, but it's come out of Rich Paul's mouth. And then reports that are showing on ESPN and told you he's got ESPN in his back pocket. He pays ESPN. ESPN get their checks from LeBron James. FS1 gets their checks from LeBron James when we talk about Nick Wright, who's got his brown nose stuck up LeBron's ass. You're talking about Colin Cowherd, Shannon Sharp, Le Shannon Sharp, O'Shea Sharp. So, again, I've given LeBron his credit. I don't see where the hate is coming from. And what I get mad about these LeBron fanboys is they continue to see, don't understand the objectivity and the hate. And they think that you're, you're attacking LeBron's manhood because you're talking about how bad, how bad he, how you critique him as a basketball player. Basketball player has nothing to do with his life, my man. Has, has nothing to do with his personal life. We talked about family, man, community stuff. There's no need for that. 
And yet what's so crazy is that, again, the fanboys, they come on your channels, they curse you out, and they just get so emotionally triggered, so emotionally triggered that you have, how dare you talk about LeBron James like that? LeBron is making more money than you, than you'll ever do. You come in on his, you come in and I'm hating on this man. But yet, you saw what I said in my video, this video. You saw what I said in the previous videos about him. What I did was expose myths about LeBron, claiming that he's the greatest thing since sliced bread, claiming that he's the greatest of all time, coming out and saying because he beat the 73 and 9 Warriors, that he's the greatest of all time and he beat the greatest team ever to seven, assemble, which was pre KD. But yet failed to mention that the 2015 Warriors won a championship without Kevin Durant and they went 16 and 5 in the postseason, winning 67 games. Failed to mention that the 2017 Warriors went 16 and, 16 and 1 with Kevin Durant. The record slightly better than the 2001 Lakers by one game because the first round is a best of seven, so they got one more game. And they, finished the, and they finished that year 83 and 16, the 2017 Warriors. Gentlemen sweep the Cavaliers, who at the same time are 8 and 1 against LeBron in the last nine NBA Finals games in the last back to back NBA Finals. So this LeBron stuff getting nonsensical needs to stop. But anywho, this is your boy Lewis, and what I will do is I will put it, uh, I will put a, I will make a video on KD and LeBron, why this whole super team nonsense really needs to stop and why I'm going to compare the two. So make sure and stay tuned for that as I will post that later today. But anywho, this is your boy Lewis Velez checking in with another video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that, hit that like, hit that noti, hit that, um, <laughs> hit that subscribe button and make sure to share this video. Once again, this is Lewis. I appreciate you guys taking the time for watching this video, man. Until next time, as always, man, deuces, man. Peace. Thanks for watching.